I think I'm finally going to go ahead and fix this 3DS here. Uh, this is one of the 3DSs from that um, collection of junk consoles. It's of course in an aftermarket shell uh, with an aftermarket white shell, purple buttons, so on and so forth. And it works just fine. You can charge it in the dock and it'll charge just fine. Uh, the issue with this console is, however, this part inside the charge port is broken. Um, so it charges, it'll probably work just fine right now, go figure. Or I can't even insert the, there it goes. Yeah, go figure it works just fine now, but uh, it doesn't always work fine. You know, sometimes you have to hold that at a particular angle. So I wanna see if I can go ahead and fix that today. Uh, I did make these custom PCBs. I got these through Osh Park. It was like 75 cents or something shipped for three of them. And uh, basically I'm just gonna see if I can convert it over to USB-C. I kind of stole the idea from uh, those USB-C power adapters for the Game Boy Advance SP that Blind Eye had made a little while back. Um, so, of course, I sat there, found a footprint in KiCad so that I could attach this to a board, and then I made my own custom footprint based on the cutout of the uh, charge port once the charge port's removed. This is the wrong screwdriver. I better stop before I strip something. Wonderful, that's already stripped. So these screws, that's missing a screw, that's cool, suck quite a bit, and um, they strip really easily, and apparently I've already stripped a few of them, which is super cool, because it makes taking this apart and putting it back together multiple times super easy. I'm not bitter or anything. Why would I be bitter? That's just silly. <clears throat> okay, that came out easy enough. So with all of the screws out, including the one in the cart reader, this can swing up, pop the two shoulders loose, and then we'll set that aside for now. So what I need to do, I need to remove this connector here. There are six solder points, and I think it's going to be a pain in the ass to remove without ruining anything. but. I'm gonna try it. My parts SP, of course, I had already completely removed the port. Well, most of it was already broken off. I just finished the job and cleaned it up. Where's my solder work? There it is. It would probably be best to... Oh, that's cool. I guess I don't have a choice now. i got to commit. The uh, charge pins just came out. Did not expect that to happen. Anyway, I was going to say, it would probably be best to remove this from the shell. This being the motherboard. 
but I'm really not too concerned. Ow. Might be able to just break this off. Probably easier. There we go. I'm going to clean this up while I have it open. Be right back, go grab some Q-tips. Alright, just got some cotton swabs here, soaked in isopropyl alcohol. Just want to make sure I get everything cleaned up here. Flux is corrosive. So, if I leave it there long enough, it could cause some issues. There we go. I especially don't want random metal fragments in my charge port. Okay. So, set that aside for the moment. I need to install this. One thing that is kind of annoying that Osh Park does, um, but it's part of how you get their boards so cheap, they do panelize multiple designs together, which means my boards were connected up to someone else's board, which again means there are little tabs left over from manufacturer that in this case I need to remove. Well, actually I could probably get away with not removing them, but the install will be significantly easier if I remove them. So, that's what I'm doing. take a file that comes off easy enough. Now I'm going to solder this USB type C port on and in hindsight I don't like how much this moves around. I should have used a different different footprint there. I think I can make it work though. Okay. I think this will go a little bit easier with some flux.
looks good enough. Okay. This thing is very hot. I shouldn't have grabbed that. Okay. Next, the idea is to just solder that down there. All the pads line up. Should be good to go. I'm worried about one of these pads. Those look awful close to shorting out. I think it's fine. Oh wait, yeah, those are both grounds. Never mind. Very nice. Okay. It's not even crooked either. That's a shocker. Okay. I'm just plugging in the USB C cable and, uh, There goes nothing, I guess. Yes! Noise! Very nice. Okay. So now, I wanted to try something, but now that I'm looking at this port, I don't think it's going to work. I wanted to add the, um, the contacts for the dock but I don't know if I can even get these out in one piece little one. Oh, there we go. Spoke too soon. Cut off the long end. Possibly. There it goes. And if all goes well, I should be able to just solder that down. Let me tin this thing.
Oops. I want to make sure it's not shorting out on anything. There are two pads behind it um, that are unpopulated right now on both sides. I, uh, what I did, I mapped out the CC lines on this port so that uh, you can solder in a 5.1K resistor in case you ever hook this thing up to a non-USB-A to USB-C. Like if you hook it up to a USB-C host power supply so that it knows how to charge properly. In my case, I'm not going to be doing that, so I'm not going to bother with those tiny little resistors. I don't even have a USB-C host to test it out, see if it's charging right. Oh wait, no, that's not true. I do now. Well, nonetheless, I'm still not soldering it in. This is going entirely too smooth. Something must be wrong. Okay. Now, before I plug anything in, I'm going to double check I didn't just short everything out. Okay, that doesn't look like a short. It's probably fine. See if it pulls up. So next, I'm going to need to make this bit here, which is going to involve making that port quite a bit bigger. So I'm just going to uh, I'm going to pause because the phone's getting pretty warm. Um, but I'm just going to take a file to this hole and see if we can't get it going. I'll be back in a minute. So I did the majority of the filing with one of these uh, round needle files here and then one of these square needle files here. Uh, but then I also did end up taking a shortcut with the Dremel just to remove the vast majority of the material. But this is the shape I ended up with. I still, somehow, I managed to keep the divide between the two charge ports and the actual or the dock ports and the actual charge port itself and it should fit on there just like that. So it's time to put it back together and test it out see if I uh, see if I fuck see how badly I fucked it up. Not just if.
right. The shell makes the most wonderful noises when you reassemble it. All this sketchy cracking and... I don't know. I should have put that on the other side. Oh well. Did I lose another screw? Really? Oh, there it is. And moment of truth. Let's see if I uh, let's see if I broke it. Got a blue light. That's good. Certainly taking its sweet time to boot. There it goes. Nice. So the console still boots up, which is a good thing. Of course, I have no idea what that error is. Um, or message, I don't even know if it's an error. Because I don't read Japanese, but that's okay. Uh, it still seems to boot up and work just fine. Let's plug it in. Charge is just fine. Excellent, shows us charging. One more test. I'm going to plug my dock back in. And this stupid lanyard makes it difficult, but let's see. Oh, yes. Doesn't matter if you take that off, you can't see. It's a little uh, flaky on the dock connection. Or, there it goes, now it's working fine. But yeah, there we go. That's uh, you wanna convert? Oh, that's probably why it's flaky. The uh, pads aren't in the right spot. Not a whole lot I can do about that though. Um, because they're, they're flush with the PCB that I added to convert it. So, I don't know. I guess I guess it is what it is. But there you go. You want to convert your 3DS over to USB Type-C. That's what you need to do. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night.